what allowed you guys to slip into such a big hole early? And then on the flip side, I mean, how do you feel when you're in and you climb all the way out of it? Did you feel like you had some control of the game going into halftime? Um, yeah, it's, it's been a problem for us, you know, our start, how we start the game, um, you know, we just got to clean it up. Um, it's been a problem in the past um, that we're trying to address. You know, if we, if we clean that mistake up and be in the game, it's, it's a different game. So, you know, we just got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out. Um, we should be fine. How are you feeling at halftime? Like going deep down 12 and then going into halftime up four, do you feel like you shifted things in the right way? Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of confidence going into halftime. Um, yeah, I mean, we were just, we knew we had another 20 minutes to go. Um, we told each other that we we haven't finished the whole 20 game, I mean, a whole 40 minute game yet. Um, you know, we just encouraging each other, but, you know, sometimes the ball doesn't drop your way. So. Eric, I, I obviously trying to miss free throw and kick it out, but what, what exactly happened? What did you see? What, um, learning experience for me, uh, just, you know, got to hit the rim, you know, when uh, you're in a situation like that. So um, definitely a learning experience and uh, it's something we got to build from. You know, we got a quick turnaround against Illinois and uh, just got to prepare for that. You know. Sean, anything? Yeah. Go ahead, Ahmed. Sorry. Hey, hey Eric. That's, uh, obviously, you guys uh, switched a lot of your defenses tonight. Um, that was helped you guys uh, come out of that first half deficit. I guess, what do you guys feel like uh, worked that clicked uh, to help stifle them a little bit? Um, just uh, finding and like getting defensive stops. You know, they came out early in transition. They got some easy baskets and, uh, you know, it kind of woke us up a little bit. You know, we can't really come out like days, but like that, especially a team, you know, with that dynamic and transition and stuff. Um, but, you know, we kind of put some stops together and got back into the game. So um, I think that's what helped us. Other questions, guys? Go ahead, Jacob. Just a real quick question. Uh, getting to play Keegan Murphy for the first time this year, obviously, guys, we'll get another crack at him later in the season at home. But what were your initial thoughts on just him as a player trying to defend him, trying to stifle him a little bit? Um, you know, definitely a, a great player. Um, you know, he got some easy ones early in transition. And, um, you know, he stayed in rhythm throughout the game. I feel like, you know, he was a basket here, a basket there. You know, he never really had a drought, you know, where he wasn't in rhythm, I feel like. And, um, you know, like you said, we were playing him again, so I'm pretty sure we have a, a nice game plan for him. What's, what's kind of different coaching you talked about giving them those transitions? Baskets. I mean, is, is that just purely an effort thing, or is that you know, just doing that situation and getting your cleanup there? Um, I feel like just running back on you know, defense with urgency. Um, sometimes we get lax the days go when we get a bucket. Now, you know, Iowa is a team where they don't relax. Once we get a bucket, they right down the field with um, the ball. So, um, just some some things that we have to clean up. It's totally okay if the answer is no, but are you guys aware of what happened to the fan behind you? Is that rattling or jarring at all? To I heard a little bit of it, but I'm not, I still don't know totally. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay thanks, guys. Yeah.